Here we're going to tie your classic zonker streamer. First thing we're going to do is wrap the, the entire body here with some lead wire. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some nice thick 140 denier thread or 3 aught. We're going to wrap that over the wire, trying to cover it all up and secure it. And it just takes a few times through it. Thicker the thread or the thread, the better. And we want to cover up the majority of this wire if we can. Once we've got it mostly covered up, we're going to take our thread back to the rear of the hook, all the way to the back. And we're going to take some <clears throat> pearl minnow body material, and it's hollow. It comes uh, with a rope actually in the, the center of it to keep its uh, shape, and I just simply take my tweezers or hemostats and I just pull this rope out from the, the inside of this tubing. And all we're going to do is just take this tubing and we're going to fray the ends here just a little bit. That way we can slide it, slide it on. And we're going to take it almost all the way back to our thread here. What we're going to do is make a nice loose wrap over this pearl minnow body. while I'm pinching it with my hand. Nice loose wrap. And we're going to capture it. Nice tight wraps. That's why I use that thick thread. And sometimes these little flashaboo fibers here get wrapped around the hook so I just kind of naturally pull them where they want to go and what you can do is draw all these fibers together here and up we're just gonna trim them you know, I want a little bit of a tail with these fibers so I just trim them all oh, about a half an inch or so really make sure that's secure the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the rabbit strip. I'm just going to use a piece of natural rabbit here. And I'm just going to pull some of the fibers forward. I can lick my fingers to kind of help keep them out of the way. And I'm going to do a nice loose wrap at first here just to capture this rabbit strip. And I'm really going to bite down nice and tight with that thread. Once I've gotten a few nice tight wraps done, I'm just going to take my whip finisher here. I'm going to do a nice loose, nice big loose whip finish. Then I could trim out the, the excess. <clears throat> Now what we're going to do is we're going to push this minnow body material back just a little bit to make it fatten up a little bit. Then I'm going to take my black thread here, pinch it into place, get that rabbit strip out of here first. Probably the hardest part, just getting it started. Then I can get in here and trim out all the excess material. Make sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to wrap back just a little ways here on the body. That's going to give me a spot to 
tie in my red schlap in. I'm just going to stroke the fibers back here and tie it in by the, the tip of the feather. And I could trim out the, the tip. Now all I'm going to do is just take my schlap in here. I'm going to force all the fibers rearward as much as I can. I'm just going to take that feather and wrap it forward. Once I've got a few wraps there, I can just capture it with my thread. Trim out the excess, and then what I like to do is kind of part the schlap in just a little bit here, each side. And I pull my rabbit strip over the top, secure it with a couple of tight wraps, and I can get in here and trim out the, the excess hide. Now all that's left to do is just to clean it up. Build up a little head. And then you can whip finish. And really, that's all there is to the zonker. The last thing I like to do. So I take a little bit of either head cement or Zap-A-Gap. I like to use a little bit of Zap-A-Gap to brush on. And I just coat the entire head. Then I also will get back here at the rear of the fly and completely glue the that rear tag that we made. Making sure it won't uh, Come unraveled on us. And that's all there is to just a simple zonker bait fish pattern. It can be tied in a lot of different colors. This is just a natural color, but you can tie it in white, olive, black, rust, whatever you want. And you can buy all the materials for this fly at intheriffle.com.